Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Sly 3. Let's go ahead and uh, grab Sly, and I think we're on the final like operation of this map. So let's go ahead and grab our boy and head on over to the mission. Guru, I know you've yet to formally join the team, but we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I know. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. What's Get in that moonstone? And they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing, and it's sure to fall apart. Alright. It feels like the most roundabout way to destroy a helicopter, but, um... Why not? Let's do it. I think this guy is going to be our first victim. Let's see, where is this helicopter currently landed at? Oh, um... Can I just, like, jump up there? I might have to go... No. Oh, there we go. Aim that fighter and then jump off with a triangle button. Oh, I. No. Okay, I understand now, though. I have to aim it, but then I actually have to jump off. Go, there we go. A couple more direct hits like that, and that gyrocopter will be history. All right, come here, kangaroo boy. You're coming with me. Um, yeah, I guess let's just jump this rock. That's probably easiest. Zoink. That thing's on its last legs. Right, let's grab one more guard into it, and it's finished. Zoink. Behold, the moon <laughs> spirit rises. Woo. Very Everyone scary. Everyone keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. Is the mask that dumb though? We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, applying wide berth. Wide Quit berth? Quit around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Yo, Guru, what are you doing? Here I come, Master! <laughs> Skirt! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. We got Giga Carmelita now. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, you've uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you. Now that's not nice. <laughs> Best boss ever. Bro, how high can she jump? Could use a little help. I don't put in a few of your sleep darts and karma larger here. They will pry off the mask. Uh, okay. I mean, I'll give it a whirl here, but, uh, I don't know if sleeping darts are gonna be the best thing here. Oh, dude, that was an easy shot I never I missed. Alright, I need to get better at this. Does the slide die if we don't? I love how she moves the second I need her not to move. Please, please, please. No, I'm trash at this. Oh, there we go. Ooh, now she's looking at me, apparently. Of course, something's in the way. Ooh, got her mid-run here. Alright. Maybe another dart here. Of course, something's in the way again. Maybe we're going to hit her mid-run here. Come on, come on. Oh, we got it. I didn't even see the num the count at the bottom. We need to hit her five times, apparently. Right there. Oh, that's going to be a snipe and a half. Okay. One more. 
I guess I could zoom in too. That might help. Oh, right there. Come on. Finally, the darts are starting to kick in. Or <laughs> slides him out. The he likes this. My darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic. Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. So we basically just drugged her to make her even bigger. That's that's great. Yo. All right. Not gonna even say anything. Not gonna even say anything. Zoink. Here we go. Whoop. Oh no, I dropped it. Yo, was that her? Why does she sound like that? That is not okie dokie. Whoops. Bro, I'm trying to grab him. Dude, I'm trying my best. She keeps throwing bombs right in front of each other. Oh, that's not a pretty sound. Maybe we can grab it before it blows up. I'm trying, Bentley. I'm trying. Did we lose? No, she lost. She's too huge. We can't outrun her in the truck. How are we doing? Uh... This is bad. We need a new strategy and fast. Climb her. This just isn't working. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth, and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not Yeah, you do, Murray. Shut it's up. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You got a better idea? Yeah, but we need a giant... Fighting robots. Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. All right, Murray. All right, let's go ahead and uh, climb her. Watch out, Carmelita's troops are on route. See, but why are they angry at me? I feel like they should be angry at her. Looks like each side of the mask is latched on with only one hook. Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away and knock it off. All right, one boot at a time. Oh, that's not a pretty sound. Feels like she's regurgitating something. We grab her little hair strand here. Oh, okay, I understand. She's gonna swat it herself. I grab on your leg? No! At the same time, I don't feel like getting squished. What is she looking at? Is she, like, trying to squish me? Hey yo. No. <laughs> okay, Carmelita. Okay. I feel like this is like Sly's dream mission right here. Oh, that's creepy. Yo, destroy that mask. Oh, sick. Good job, guys. Little flying Thanos, I suppose. You'll love to see it. Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. 
Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. <laughs> Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same. Nice, we picked up a homeless man, let's go. And he can, he has powers of taking their minds? I feel like we just basically, you know, I'm not gonna even say it. I'm not gonna say it. I think we brought on someone bad on the team. All right, Flight of Fancy, ooh. I feel like this is gonna be a nice level here. Let's go ahead and give it a, let's give it a start here. If this is the one that I think it is, I love this map a lot. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pore over the blueprints to Dr. N's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep Spikes up with him in. intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Bro. Baron. Bentley's catfishing. He's a big dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. Oh yeah, he's catfishing. Look at him. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. Nice. All right, let's go get our let's go get a uh, turtle as love interest, huh? Sly and the gang in Flight of Fancy. Nice, dude. The one thing that I remember about this game very fondly is these helic, these um, these plane games and, and the missions and oh, man, I love them to death. Ooh, Carmelita's already here again, and yeah, she really knows how to find us very, very quickly. This is one of the maps that I think I maybe remember the least, though. I definitely remember it, but I remember it a lot less than a lot of the other maps. But I do remember it being real fun. Alright, looks like we're stationing up right next to the main hall which is right next to us i wonder if currently is going to be in there okay so what do we got as far as new gadgets so that's what i'm curious about Let's see insanity strike oh got a roar we still don't really have enough money for anything so i think we're, we're still kind of saving up for the rocket boots right now 
go ahead and put on our piloting costume and uh, let's head out, I guess. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, it looks like we're in like a hotel. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give hey, color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Sounds like a plan to me. Can I get out of my suit? Or is that illegal? Okay, we gotta go. So we gotta go talk to Dimitri. I'm just gonna instantly guess he's probably by the bar. Yeah, he's next to the bar. That uh, isn't a surprise. I wonder if, does he got some lemonade on him? Okay, apparently we gotta walk around. What up, Dimitri? Dimitri? Funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights. I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poop cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Question mark in bold. Um, intimidate him. Okay. Threaten to expose him. How about that? I want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron. Then you'd be out of a job. I'd have no job, and you'd have no nada flight lineup. Go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. Uh, he's right. Okay. Threaten to move violence. Pal. I don't know. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start a fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Dude, why do I always pick everything wrong? We both know okay. you're gonna tell me. You did this last time too. Showing up if you didn't want to talk. So spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down. All right, how do we calm him down? Compliment him, make him feel good. Promise to protect him. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. The Black Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Okay. Um. You talk and swear the stays or swear. between us. I am a thief after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Chumpy. Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. All right, come there on, we go. Man, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. Le fashion? Style? Y you're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. Um, this guy's a real nut job. Not sure if I want to owe him. 
Mm, let's try to bribe him before what we do anything. Coins maybe change your mind. I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. All right, let's just agree to the favor. Okay, Dimitri, hook me up with the flight roster, and we'll owe you one. Done. <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. We love those. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes big cheese. <laughs> big cheese. I remember that line. That was my favorite as a kid. Here comes I the big you cheese. All the most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time, we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Dude, what a cameo. Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hygiene. Well, <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. Ha <laughs> 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 put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. <laughs> yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exception. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Let's do it. They don't lock the front door to the hotel. This okay. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. Is this the... Oh, this is... I don't even know what MS means. Is it... Oh, it's probably this big old entrance over here, right? Let's see... Anything interesting about the other pilots? I don't think so. Is this where we're supposed to be going? No, well, that's the elevator. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we gotta head over to the, uh, the Baron's Hangar. And play uh, Where's Waldo with a couple of paintings. Is that cheese? And it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. Boing. So what we got we got like a ram thing. You got some loot on you. Let me see. Do these guys get better stuff? Cause all of the other stuff was like only like eighty. Yeah, it's still it's not worth that much. I don't know how I'm supposed to get all these big upgrades if these guys aren't giving me any of the cash. Well, I guess we'll just keep uh, slowly going at it. There's a... Oh, um, how about we just call it... That's a big old wolf. Oh, that's terrifying. There's a piggy. Oh, he's after me. How about we not do that? How about you go after everyone else? Please let me get his treasure before you... For anything attacks. Gold medal, 94. Okay, not that good. How about we just call it a day, huh? Oh, there's the big wolf. Let's, uh, maybe try to outrun him. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. Yep. I got a Bentley. I'm already on it. Where are all my guards? Sleep? Watching TV? I won't bother paying them at all if they're going to <laughs> lounge about like common tourists. Okay. Let's 
gotta climb a little castle here. Skirt. Alright. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. You've done a fine job, Craig. Our pilots are in tip top condition. The best lot without question, truly. I'm not saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes. Tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Uh, provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. When will they learn? Interesting. Woo. Okay, we're at the top of the castle. Fly. King of the castle. King of the castle. Where's Belly at? Are you out there? No, oh, yeah. Sorry, just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. What is he gonna like? Gr it's gonna fall. Oh, say. I'm like, is he gonna like shoot a harpoon at him to climb or? Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Let's do it. Shouldn't Sly like stick around in case like there's like enemies and stuff? Yeet. Oh, I forgot that I bought that hover upgrade, so now I have a couple of jumps. Let's take a look at uh, the Baron's plane. I'm very curious to see what it looks like. is accurate. The flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and um, check. Oh! Whoopsies. Attention! Attention, cast star. We've got a big, big day tomorrow in the first round of the Aces competition. Twelve hours away. You've all done a superlative job preparing for the event, and this year promises to be the best dogfighting action we've ever seen. However, Cannot stress enough that I must win. You've all been hired to help me achieve victory. If in fact the unthinkable happens and Team Black Baron loses, I'm going to dismiss the lot of you and start clean with a new staff. Am I making myself clear? Leave nothing to chance. No outsider is to enter the castle. No one is to go near our place. If we lose, if I lose, I'm going to take it out on all of you. All right. Sounds like a little bit of a mean boss. Hey, yo, we got Rajan's level. Okay, let's just start from the bottom to the top. Hey, yo, there we go. Right there. Two, two, three. Oop, I went the wrong direction, but it's okay. Two, two, three. That safe was a bust. Try the other. Yeah, this extra extra hovering is kind of doing wonders for me right now. Oh, that one was very easy. Five ten. This is Rajan's next level from slide two. Wait, I already forgot what it is. Was it five ten? Yep, yeah, there you go. There it is. I, I love, I'm going to say it again, I love Bentley's face when he finished me, he's like, eh. like man, he's, he's, he's looking ready to, ready to fight or something. Okay, fellas, according fellas. to the flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent 
leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then plant the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogrammed handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Is true. Although it'd be kind of mean if they went after us, considering we have a single plane. Like, come on, man. What's the competition, right? All right, let's go ahead and um. Oop. Let's go ahead and buy rocket boots. And we're gonna end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching.